From the start of the Leroy Project, there's been someone standing at pretty much every corner we've turned saying, no, you can't do that, that'll never work, and it's only made us work harder. <laughs> turbos on Leroy, we knew he'd go fast. We didn't know how fast he'd go, but we were going to give it our best shot. From the moment I ran my nine second pass, I dreamed of running an eight. We knew it wouldn't be easy with a stick shift car, but we were all in on making it happen. this point it was on we were going for the corvette stick shift world record which at the time was way out of our league but we jumped in we tuned the car up and we did our freaking best <laughs> Kidding me. Deep into the record. <laughs> Thank you for making me go back out, dude. Yes. So after the 848, which was about 10 months ago from now, we've been doing everything with Leroy. From drive-through shenanigans to picking up Christmas trees to doing half mile events, even going drifting with fellow YouTubers, a visit to Vegas with the Hoonigan guys, road coursing Leroy on Daytona and Sebring. But we knew it was time to get back to business. And when we got to Charlotte, we finally started to see some improvements. going over 170 miles an hour in the quarter mile, but it seemed we were stuck in the A2s twos after running four 826 passes in the same day. I felt like we were aerodynamically limited a lot after seeing what happened in the wind tunnel. It seemed like we were stuck, but this last week, Texas Speed told me to send it on the boost controller. And while blowing a head gasket in the process, this pass put us only a tenth away from the sevens. the world record we lifted ahead in the process but we got the world record Leroy was down, but he was not out. We had the Corvette world record, but with competitors hot on our heels, going for the sevens, we knew if we wanted to be the first stick shift GM car ever in the sevens, it was crunch time. We had to get this thing fixed. And in today's video, we got down and dirty. We thrashed. And ladies and gentlemen, we made it happen. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. James, you had a baby. I had a baby. This will be the second head you'll have to pull this week. Yeah, I already pulled one out. So. <laughs> Everything She's went ready perfect. to rip. Oh, yeah. She's, She's home. That's Everything awesome. Healthy. Man. Amazing. Oh, I didn't yeah. get my seven, though. No. So I didn't hold up to my part of the deal, but. I did have a seven pound baby. So. Yeah, it was seven pounds. <laughs> seven which pounds, is... <laughs> two ounces. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so now I gotta run my seven to hold up my part of the deal. All right guys, well we got a little bit of sleep and we're back at the shop today and we're just gonna go ahead and rip these heads off right now. Get down to business. Get in there, Holly. Guys, it's another scorcher today. I'm already sweating through my shirt. We'll have the cool bosses cranked on in a minute, but while we're draining fluids, it doesn't really work so hot. So we got them up here, guys. Well, we gotta pull both heads off. You know, the head gasket on one side on the driver's side is the only one that had the issue last night. But we're gonna pull both heads off, check both gaskets, probably put new studs in it. We gotta get the heads milled and re-leveled. Then we'll get new gaskets tomorrow and 
we'll have this thing back together. We got a quest for sevens. Yeah. So the intake came right off and I think we managed not to scratch it. About to pull the manifolds off, you know, the turb skis set them down and then we will finally get to the heads. Come on, strong man. Use your dad strength. Your newly gifted dad strength. All right, so we have our non-problematic head off and everything looks good. So don't really have to worry about anything on this side, but it's worth cleaning it off, putting a fresh gasket in it along with some new studs. All right, guys, moment of truth. You can actually see the gasket is completely pushed out down here. See that, guys? That's our freaking head gasket right there. Wow. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, man. Is that what it is? Yeah, I can see over here. Hold on. Oh, man. She's shot. I mean, they usually come off pretty bad, but oh, baby. This is the important part. I want to make sure that there's no burn marks in this and it doesn't appear to have any. I think we're good, dude. Okay, so it pushed out right here. So that's where we'd have our burn mark, right? Yeah, there'd be a big old slot of. Oh, dude. As far as I can feel. We're ready to rip. So that just shows it was the... Look at our timing marks. Yeah, they're perfect. They're perfect. I take a little bit more. A couple degrees. <laughs> oh, man. That's the best news I've heard all day. As far as the block goes, this all looks absolutely perfect. Yeah, this is the other concern. Yeah. would be here on the block where the gas was actually mm -hmm. pushed out. I think it's totally fine. And as you can see, the rings on those head gases did their job and didn't allow Woo it. Woohoo! to burn any aluminum let's go all right guys well we are good to go that is such good news the bottom end is fine the heads are fine no torching everything's there that needs to be there nothing's missing no missing material yeah so here's the plan guys we're getting head gaskets overnighted from texas speed we're getting head studs overnighted from them as well we're gonna replace those we have a nice fresh head set up some strong studs we're gonna torque these puppies down and we're going right back out we're gonna take the heads up to fast forward race engines which is a local machine shop to us we're gonna have these babies milled down, cleaned up. We're gonna throw them back on there and go full send. If it's not raining freaking tomorrow or even Tuesday, we're going back out. We're gonna, get, we're gonna do this as fast as we can. There's a bunch of shops trying to be the first GM stick shift car in the sevens, and we wanna be the first ones. We gotta do it. We gotta push harder than ever right now. All right guys, welcome back. We're now on day two of fixing Leroy on the quest for sevens. The guys from Texas Speed flew in this morning and brought with themselves some brand new head gaskets that we're about to put on Leroy. James is at the machine shop getting the heads milled. All goes well guys, we have a track rental tonight and we are gonna go out and run a seven. It's going down 100%. Might do it first pass. Ready Casey? Yeah. It's definitely. going down. It's happening tonight. We got this. All right guys, things are looking good. The heads are back on, the new gaskets are in, the new studs are in. We're just bolting things back together. This side's done, gotta finish that up. Put the valve covers on once the rockers are torqued down and we are ready to put the intake back on. Ooh wee, things are looking good. Just got the manifold tightened on. James, you're doing the power steering bracket. I just put plugs in, all the plug wires are hooked up. Right now we gotta put the intake on. Then there's a bunch of stuff that plums up to that. At that point we do oil, coolant, Get this thing running, head and, to the track for and, sevens. And then run a seven. And then run a seven. Let's go. Well guys, Leroy's starting to look like a race car again. We have been straight hustling all day. He's almost done. We're going to the track. This is happening. All right, folks, we are clear for a fire up. We're holding fuel pressure. We got water in it. Um, I'd watch that radiator overflow, see if it sucks a bunch of water down. It probably will. Ready? Guys, we made it out here. Big thanks to Bradenton Motorsports Park setting this up today. This is some last minute stuff. You ready to run a seven? Let's go. Let's go. Holly's ready. Right. We running the right lane? Yep. All right. Here we go, guys. This is it. I've never felt closer. Never felt more ready. Here we go. Holly, come here. Woo. 
Well guys, we just had Holly flash on the hot tin. She's walking away. She knows it's gonna go a seven. So when we go out there, what we're gonna do is hit it right from the start and because there's no one else here, um, if it doesn't feel like a good launch, I'm gonna get out of it at the eighth mile at the most, you know, even earlier if I can. If it doesn't leave hard, I'm just gonna get out of it, back up, cool the car off, go again. We're not running out the big end until we absolutely have to because we got it cranked up and we don't want to shove another gasket out of it. We just got to get out there and if it leaves hard once, man, full send, 4-7. <laughs> it was an 8.5. 8.5? Yeah. 158. Felt really lazy. Looked okay early and it looked like you double pumped it past the 8th and decided what you were going to do. <clears throat> it felt like it good. left good but it, it felt super lazy up top. We yeah. thought you maybe like weird. let off or something. Like, no, no. 20 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah, I was in it the whole way. Down 20 miles an hour. Didn't seem like it. All right. Figured out. All right, guys. So obviously we're down 20 miles an hour on this pass, and we had this whole car apart today. So we think we have a boost leak. We only made 11.8 pounds, and like I said, that was the same tune-up that we ran at the track the other day. So something's wrong. We got to figure it out right now. We're gonna throw these boost leak checkers on there, charge the system, see where our leak is. Hopefully it's just a simple leak, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys. We think we have our uh, boost issue resolved what can you expect when you take a car completely apart though and then like rush back together and head to the track all righty if it doesn't 60 foot i gotta let out the last one is actually pretty good it was a 131 on that 85 i can't believe we ran that on 11 pounds of boost now let's see what we can do on a 27. <laughs> oh man this is gonna be fast boys this could be the pass that changes my life Immediately. 144 in the 8th. Done? 144 in the 8th. 144 in the 8th. 149.64. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it spun the clutch so bad it wouldn't have done it anyway. Huh? 
It spun the clutch so bad, I don't think it would have done it. It made a ton. It, it's felt faster than it ever has. Yeah, Guys, that was a seven second pass. It spun, <clears throat> the, the clutch spun on the big end. Right, it must have made a lot of power. That was insane. Two tenths in the eighth and a, dude, 10 what mile an hour. The clutch. Oh my God. Right, let's just see if we can turn it down. We gotta cool the clutch off. We'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, Holy man. shit. So we just went 515 to the eighth. Is that what it? 515 yeah. at 144. That's that's a 770 pass, 780 pass. 5 3 at 136 on the 810. 5 3 at 136 on the 810. And it wasn't my clutch spinning, it was water under my tires because it had pushed it out of the head gasket right under my left tire. I mean, that's crazy. Dude, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's why you need a catch pan. This thing is getting a belly pan ASAP. We're done for the day. This, this definitely blows because the seven's on the line and we have it in the back. I mean, if it would have just held a second more, I mean, it probably would have done it. But it's still really close to the We're talking a four in the eighth, though. Like you could, dude. If I would, if I didn't let out though, like there's such a good chance. That it could have just gone right into the wall at 160, 170 miles an hour. I'm heartbroken though, for sure. That blows. We have the small head studs in this car, and I think it's time to upgrade to the half inch ones. Damn, guys. I'm so bummed. I I'm, I'm excited, because I mean, that's, that's incredible to see the car do that, but shoot, man, water under the tires that fast, and if I would have stayed in it, I mean, that could have been, that could have been it for the car and me. Oh my God, man. When you're putting this much power into a car, you're bound to. Dude, 28 pounds of boost. Push the head gasket out in the same spot. I'm so bummed, but. Could have gotten really hurt, so it's kind of scary. Definitely putting a belly pan on this thing before we go out again. Well. Five fifteen. One hundred forty-four point something seven. Wow, bro. Yeah, where that slip <clears throat> One twenty-nine sixty foot. It only left on four and a half pounds. I mean, normal. Yeah. That would have been the pass for sure. Wow. It was, was trucking on through there. I'm so like, I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm excited that the car did that, but man, that's scary to think that that's what it did. Yeah, 129, 515, 144, 840 at 120. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, eight, four at 120 miles an hour. 515 to the eighth at 144 miles an hour. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Dude, that was it. That was the seven. Yeah, absolutely. That was a seven, and that was by a lot. That was. A... Oh yeah, I told you it was gonna, it yeah, was gonna was... mow down seven ninety. So about five minutes after we set the cameras down and got ready to load the car into the trailer, I turned to Casey and said, "This might be the craziest thing you've ever heard, but have you ever ran one of these cars with no water in the block?" Everyone kind of looked at me like I was crazy, but he said, "Hell yeah." Let's send it. Trevor from Texas Speed said, do it. Let's do it. Now or never, melt the thing down. Let's go for it. So brace yourselves, folks. We're going for it on a hurt motor. All right, guys, so we're here. This is gonna be our, our chance to do this. So what we're gonna do, and this might sound crazy to some of you, is as you guys know, this engine has water running through it to keep it cool. And when we push a head gasket, water comes out of the engine. And that's what got under my tires, super sketchy. So we're gonna give this a last ditch effort. We're gonna drain all the water out of this thing It's gonna be on total meltdown by the end of that pass because it's gonna be so hot with absolutely no cooling But that might be what it takes to get this seven tonight and be the first ones to ever do it guys We are back in this. We're getting fans. We're cooling this thing off. We're going no water on this pass Todd showing up with an extra fan. Hell yeah, bro. We got the Braden and staff on board with this That's what we do I just just had like the lowest of the low. I, I'm feeling good. I just had a feeling it's gonna be tonight. We're gonna get this. We're gonna do. This. If it goes even close to what it just did, 
in the eighth, it, it's done. Game over. We got it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's all I can tell you. I just chugged a Mountain Dew. So I'm at optimal freedom. It ain't going to do a 515 to the eighth on this tune, but we don't need a 515. We just need something, something close to that. me that turned it off do all your breathing right now whenever you start this thing you need to roll up there it needs to be in a quick glimpse oh i'm i'm good i'm ready i just don't know why it shut off you ready Down low, what did it feel? Like? Down low, it, oh, it was making what? Did not run 100 miles an hour. Well, he let out way before the end. Oh, I let out <coughs> yeah, way like, before. Seemed like it was good before. It, it felt fine. It felt like it was making power. I just let out because I, I missed third, so I just let out. It yeah. felt like it was making power, though. All right, guys, so that last pass is on me. Bad burnout when the car shut off, and then I missed a gear in the freaking crunch time here. I got to be good on this pass. This might be the last one we get. We are going to... Make this happen right here, right now. Just gotta stay motivated, keep my head in the game, and we will do what we want to do. It's amazing this engine is doing this right now. It's actually insane. It's actually crazy. Here we go! Hold on. Yep, push start me. Let's go. Watch the water. Spun the tires. 
All right, we're gonna push back and do this right again. Come on, Soul. For the seven. Man, 807 178. the rest of the pass oh man I don't know if that was it but man it did feel good man it did feel good Leroy thank you for staying on just want to tell you how much I love you for ripping that hard I know this is not easy on you brother damn I can't believe holding that power up there like that with the it's got these special head gaskets that have a metal ring in it guys so even though we pushed water earlier yeah. the rings reset guys so the head kind of reclamps on it and uh that's the only reason why it's holding any power is those rings it's those special head gaskets tech speed cells it's called athenas wow i don't know if that was it because it did spin off the line, but I wanted to get a full pass to even see if it was worth waiting for another one because it actually did pull up hard. So I don't know, could have been it. Yeah. How it was it a feel? good pass. It felt fast. It wasn't slow. It was 807. 807? Yeah. At what mile an hour? 178. 178, 807. She's there. Yeah. 807. And it was like 5'3 to the 8th. Yeah, it wasn't even a 515 again. <laughs> <laughs> what was the 60 foot? 127. Damn. We're going to give the track the same treatment, and then we're going to try it again. What it's got it? it. Yeah, what is this? Okay. Yeah, that, that, uh, that fitting came with it, so I got to tighten it. <laughs> this puppy can't be stopped. <laughs> Neither will we. We got this. Oh yeah, definitely. We got this. Hey, at least we just broke a world record. It was our own world record. <laughs> but at the least tonight, we broke a world record. Yeah. Let's get this fixed. Let's, let's keep going, guys. We're not stopping. Yep. We gotta let it cool down for a while, I was. Then we'll be back. Yeah. I just, dude, I'm on a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> like, I hope you guys at home are freaking out too, because this has been insane. Like, we literally went, I've never felt that, excuse my language, shitty in a long time. Like, I was, I was bummed, but now we're back in it. I'm at the fastest pass ever. Fastest pass ever, right there on a hurt motor. That right there, 300 passes deep, not even, it's got a blown head gasket, and we just went 178 miles an hour. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, on a slower tune-up than our 810, so we still got that mile an hour on less boost. I mean... Guys, we are letting her rib tater chip, and we're about to run a seven. Deployment a parachute right now. This is the long, the last time I'm gonna have to pack this in a while. <laughs> oh yeah, you and don't you put it what? away for a while. <laughs> Honestly, it's a little comforting that there's not water in that thing right now, because when I was up there doing one 180 almost out the back end, I was like, 
it's good to know I can't really get water under my tire right now. I don't well, think we're gonna put the 515 to the eighth tune back in it because we're kind of asking to just send her send a rod to the sky. But we'll put some power back in it. I'm, I'm definitely gonna take it back up to where I had it on the first pass. That 515 was. Dude, you should have felt it. that. I felt like honestly, it'd be like if we put a kerky on Holly's back <laughs> and threw a, a piece of meatloaf. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Hey. I'm trying to get my head around it right now. <laughs> All right, guys, drop the RPM so it doesn't spin on the line. What happened on that last pass is when I pedaled it in first gear, it still had a great 60 foot. It actually jumped the boost controller into second gear too early. So then when I went into second, like I shifted to second gear, the boost controller thought it was in third. So it was off and basically when that happens, it runs less boost than it should be in those gears. It, it's hard to explain right now, but had I not had to pedal it in first, it would have gone seven. And to prevent that from happening here, we dropped the RPM launch just a little bit. They're spraying the track. This is it. This, is, this will be the seven, 100%. Let's go time, Leroy. Let's get it, buddy. Let's make it happen. All right, folks, we're trying not to get down. They, uh, they just dragged the track. They're gonna spray it right now with some fresh glue. We just gotta work with what we got. It could go a seven on this next pass. If it doesn't, I'm staying up all night pulling these heads, putting another set of gaskets on them, and we're coming back tomorrow. It's as simple as that. This is the time where we either do it or we don't. If, if it doesn't happen right now, which I think it will, we stay up all night and we pull the heads. I mean, we know the, the shop that we're up against is going to the track this week. So we don't have really an option. If we want to be first, we don't have an option but to do the overnighter and get it done. And honestly, that's the spirit of racing. That's what we should do. It's, it's fun to me. It's definitely is gonna cost us some sleep for everybody around, but hey, it's not like any of us just had a baby or anything. I mean, he already doesn't get sleep as it is, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we'll get James to come in tonight, but we can at least get the heads off. We gotta get them resurfaced in the morning. And listen, this is all if this doesn't happen right here, right now, okay? That's all if this doesn't happen right now. So please do it right here, right now. Gosh, I hope it does right here right now. We're just putting too much power for these four bolt heads and these thin head studs because it's a stock block, you know. And we could have had half inch studs drilled into it, but you know, Tech Speed offers that and this wouldn't be an issue, but we never thought Leroy would go this far. Like, no way. There's 300 passes on this motor and the reason it's lived so long is it's a great build. It's an amazing build on a motor, but it's just not meant for this power. It, it, that's as, it's as simple as that. And we're pushing it as far as we can never gone this hard and that's why we're doing what we're doing right now we're not giving up you know at the end of this no one can say we didn't give it our all that's that's it but sometimes you got to work for stuff the best things in life don't come easy so let's get out there and let's run seven yeah i'm ready as i'll ever be <laughs> well, you want me to roll past the starting line okay then stop i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna back you up yes right. sir do my thing. We're gonna roll out. This is it, baby. I know. I'm so ready, man. I'm so ready. Ready?
Yes. Yeah. I don't think you stayed on it long enough. No, I wasn't on it long enough, I don't think. And this thing's glued. You gonna do another burnout or? No, no, no. he's good. Alright, I'm gonna stay on the two steps with a hair That thing needs to be framed. Not, oh my god, 82! 782! Yes. That is a, insane. 5'10 five, five, at 142, let's go home. 5'10? Hell oh. yeah. <laughs> All right. 782, not a 790. Dude. 782. I saw 7.8s. I, I was sitting home last night and I was like, it's just gonna blow right past 7.9s. When he comes back here, we need to all be frowning. <laughs> yeah, let's just all sit around. You know what? Just put the thing in the trailer. We'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully nobody radios. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, dude, that's insane. Dude, that is flying. I told you, all he had to do was just drive it. He was in his own head. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Dude, as soon as it took off, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. When he stuck it in third, it was over. Yeah, All right. That block game faces. Game faces. <laughs> yep. Game that block can retire and go up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. That's that's the closest one of the day for sure. That felt like the beginning felt so good, but the ending felt so bad. Like it it fell down. Like it was losing power. No way that was 178. Guys, unfortunately, I don't think that was it. I, I want to think it was. I think that's going to be faster than our 807, I'll tell you that much. But the way it nosed over on the big end, like you guys can't feel it, but the damn thing fell on its face. Like those heads must have had air flowing right out the sides of them. Dude, this car is such an animal. I mean, it's a weapon absolute weapon that there's no way around this Leroy is a freaking weapon I mean what car is out there running this hard stick shift just pass after pass after pass on the absolute edge of every part on the car and just loving it just loving it I mean we are pushing the envelope so hard That's what this is all about though, folks. Pushing the envelope. All right, we all gotta sit down now. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, okay. 126. 126. I'm gonna be like, hey, do you got one more in you? Yeah. I'm gonna go ask Law if we can make one more. That oh, motor has 300 passes on it. standing here now. And <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. I know. I've he's gonna be able to tell. Yeah. <laughs> That, I mean, that's crazy. Dude. 782. I'll ask him on camera what he thought and stuff. Yeah. Do the normal interview. So what do you think? Dude, it nosed over so hard up top. Like I'm it nosed. Okay. Sure. 
Seven, eight? Seven, How eight. How dare you? <laughs> yes! Let's go, dude! Yeah. Absolute Seven, eighty. Yep. <laughs> dude, I hate you, but dude, I love that, you. We had to play it off like that. Why would you guys do that? <laughs> oh, dude, you see the mile an hour? One yeah. 176 on the, dude, right at the end. It's like, ooh. Dude, look like, at that eight. I'm dude. thinking this thing is done, though. Look at that 510 that 143. 510. What? Yeah. Dude. Ah, Casey. Oh, you said you shotgun a Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Let, dude. Oh, first dude, stick that shift. is first stick shift GM car ever in the sevens. Ever. And it's Leroy. The Leroy from YouTube. I mean, we're just a year ago, dude. The this guy right here. Believed in us. We yeah, had, I we mean, didn't have, I mean, we had crazy. nothing. We had a cam and stuff, and he goes, I mean, you know what? We're gonna set you up in the engine. Yeah, man, I mean, a year and a half ago, this was a stock <laughs> bottom end, heads cam, it's never, LSA blower, <laughs> squeaking off into the high nine. And it's never been out of the car. Uh, the, the motor's uh, never been out. That 300 plus passes, we got two blown head gaskets right now. Thank God for those rings on those guys. <laughs> Last year it ran, what, 140 in the quarter with the LSA? Dude, <laughs> one, 135 with the LSA a year in ago. In the quarter. Yeah. Now we're going 143 in the eighth. <laughs> Let's go, dude. This is life. I mean, oh, yeah. Dude, I mean, you and me. You and me have worked harder. That was a harder. freaking killer. Like, we've worked all year. I mean, at LS Fest last year, which is almost, it's like two weeks from now, we were barely running nines on stock computer. And then we switched to Holly. And it changed, and then things started coming together. We started getting faster. We ran the eight in October. We ran the, we ran an eight four right after that. And we worked our way into this. Dude, I am shaking. Dude, there's not many cars on the wor in the world doing what Dude, this there, like. There's a handful of Every weekend, seven this thing is cars. out there. Yeah. Though, Dude, we, every single weekend. We have hands down the most passes, the most street driving. We do autocross, drifting, drag racing, Sebring, I mean, half mile. We do everything all over the country. And we finally just put ourselves the first stick shift General yeah, Motors car. For, look at that. All right, I'll, I'll walk it down. One, two, six to the 60 foot, five, one to the eighth, 142. 7 8 at 176. Dude, it was so worth the hustle. Yeah. This guy flew in this morning. He's been up since 2. Yeah, we've been up a little bit. Yep. <laughs> like, that's true commitment to your customers. Hey, faster right than UPS, man. The same. I can't describe the feeling. Thank you. Yeah, dude, dude. the Bradenton Motorsports staff. Seriously, for... let's, take a sec let's take a second to thank everyone who made this happen. Bradenton yeah. Motorsports coming in clutch on a Monday night. Mm -hmm. We got Pro Fab, you know, with all the fab work on this car from the start. We have Precision Turbo, obviously the 6870s are the baddest girls up there, you know, just ripping. We got Tech Speed Motor, you guys know that, I mean, shoot. <laughs> Amazing engine, it's still in the car, we'll throw some head gaskets in it and probably keep running. Well, yeah. I think it's time for another Yeah, update. she's probably due for Trevor a Trevor was saying we yeah. might be due, we'll do yeah. a freshen up. She's due. Well, we, we do the bigger studs and can run that boost all yeah. the time. Oh yeah, it's half inch studded next time. Yeah. Right. We got monster clutches. Obviously the clutch is a major part in this game. Incredible. And the RPM transmission, that T56 is the baddest. I mean, that thing's unreal. That's the only re I mean, the diff and the transmission take the hardest hit out of any of this. And RPM always supporting us. And they're a huge part of this. I mean, the stick shift game is huge. And they build a hell of a transmission. Clearly that Frankenstein intake that we just put on absolutely 100% works because that thing, I mean, that thing rips. Keeping our IATs cold, the Iceman <laughs> intake. We got the G-Force axle holding it down when we're ripping a two, a one, two, six, 60 foot. Obviously fuel injector clinic with the injectors. I mean, those those are big girls, 2150s. Flowing all that Ignite racing fuel. I mean, Jay from Ignite's been supporting us the whole way. His fuel's amazing. And then Doug from Ocean Raceworks, always supporting us. Stuff like the parachute, you know, fittings, things like that. The fuel system, getting us the fuel pumps. I mean, you know, some boost control stuff, so much stuff. Doug is, he's a great resource. And the, all the guys at Ocean Raceworks, all this came together today. And it's amazing. So listen, guys, and, and the last thing, last person I want to thank is all of you. You guys supporting us is incredible. And I thank you. I think Cooper thanks you. And, Oh my god, man! This yeah. is like, like this is the biggest accomplishment in my life, hands down. Seven eight. What? That's it, crazy. We skipped the seven nineties. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is hands down the biggest accomplishment in my life. Hundred percent. 
because of you guys, it was, it was able to happen. So thank you all so much. I mean, we gotta end it off there. We're gonna go. I think we need to get a drink and sign the bottom <laughs> of this thing. And <sighs> thanks, guys. Love you all. Kayla, I'm sleeping in the race suit. <laughs> I'm sleeping in it. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Yes, dude! The last pass. Like, could it have been more dramatic? No. That was like... Could we have made it more dramatic? That was everything we had. Like, push starting it, freaking restage, last run. It was a good day. Yeah. It was a long day. You've been up since two. Yeah. Obviously, I felt like coming out here that uh, we could do something with this. Y'all you know, were so close last week that just needed some stuff. When I went you know, 5.15 earlier, I was... Like, dude, we Five went from the lowest to the low. Like, down. after it came back and there was water, yeah, like we're like, let's load it up. And Never the cameras weren't rolling. I was like, wait a second. This might be the stupidest idea. I turned to Casey. I'm like, can we run it without coolant? He's like, might as well. So we drained the coolant, all well, the water, sent it, and what, five passes later? It worked. Yeah, beat on it pretty good to get dude, here. But we beat, we beat the hell out of this car today. Yep. Put it away, ready for the next race. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Trevor's like, we're gonna have more of you guys by Friday. So I say we swap this puppy before we go to LS Fest. I mean, everything else on it is good to go. Ooh -wee. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm sleeping damn good. Yeah, you were probably tossing and turning last night. I didn't sleep at all last night. Like, we pulled the heads and. We got flights with those guys, and I stayed up pretty much all night. Like, I couldn't even think straight. Were you just like, Dude. left foot was going hard? Like yeah, I kept kicking Kayla with my clutch foot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all, folks.